Thank you for listening to the Handy Capable Black Woman Throne Room. My view of humanity is a whole new tea. And I love the show After Midnight. The host is so adorable, sweet, funny, and I don't know, she has a good vibe. But there's sometimes when I'm watching the episodes and I'm just like, what? Are you serious? Because they bring up great topics, great current events, but then they put the comical spin to it. So I'm actually going to be doing two different episodes based off the clip on here. And I'm actually going to be doing the second uh, idea. Is like, so it's like, so yeah, buckle up, buttercups. I'm going to get to this flight attendant thing later because. I find it interesting and I kind of want to see if I can find, look up and find other companies that have the same protocol restrictions, stuff like that, rules. And also, I wonder if with, when it comes to male dominated jobs, do they have the same protocol? Because um, not to put out, or I've already said a lot about my exes, so I can say this, like, especially one of them, Mr. No Heart. Yeah. He went to commando almost every day. He only like, I mean, in the winter time, maybe, or he did, but yeah, a lot of days, nada. And so, and I know other guys who they would get ready, go to work, not nothing, nada. And most like they would tell me because, yeah, for some of them, it was dating short term. But then I guess they went to appear more sexy, more attractive or lure me or seduce me or whatever. So then they would tell me. So this is why I know. But with Mr. Oh, I dated Mr. No Heart for seven years, so I better know. Anyway. So, yeah, that's going to be a later topic. But this one has to do with gender roles and dating expectations, dating nightmares, and I'm going to be switching the topic around f- the other way as well to see, well, here we go, here we go, here we go, because, okay, with this episode, watch the clip, you are going to see how the, um, the unholy number, the number that sometimes when people go grocery, grocery shopping, when they see it's six dollars and 66 cents like i remember going to the grocery store and buying some things going to the register and my cashier she is like she, she's so sweet too oh my gosh and her grandkids are cutie patooties but anyway i remember she looked at me she was just like grab something what's your favorite candy like um do you want want to read a magazine and i remember looking at her like why what And she was like, your total, your total. And I remember it's like, I looked at it. I was like, oh, Um, but part of me was just like, am I supposed, am I supposed to care when it gets to that? Like, I mean, is that, is it, am I cursed or is it like voodoo? Like, how does this work? What's going on? And, but over time, like whenever something ended up being in any way, not just amounts, but at like, with that number, I started not fearing it, but being cautious of it or looking out like, okay, make sure I don't get to this number, make sure it skips over that number, stuff like that. So uh, I, I don't know, it's just now with dating requirements, there is this thing called, well, the parameters or the all of the requirements include the number six and there's three of them so six 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 and i kind of find it entertaining and amusing and especially with my dating standards i i kind of want to test it because i'm going to show you my dating standards like in a, in a couple minutes if in a few minutes but i kind of wonder if I put these dating standards in my profile, how how less harassing, how less verbal abuse and torment and 
trauma will these men put me through? Because these restrictions, like, I mean, the six figure income, I think, yeah, but I, men hate my standards so much more than this list. Men call me shallow so much more, but my standards are so different than these three requirements. And so, okay, let's go over the requirements and everything. Because, okay, I listed four because there's different varieties, different variations. But the first one is six feet tall. So you would have to be six feet tall. In my opinion, I've, I've never cared for that. I'm not a height person. I don't, to me, I want to, as long as you have a big heart and a big brain, I'm a sapiosexual. So yeah, I'm, I don't care how tall, like, I kind of like when a guy is like, just maybe a little taller than me so then it's like when I give him a hug it's kind of easy access to like I, yeah I don't know it's just to me I don't care if the guy is tall or not and six or even if he's shorter to hey like I said if he's got a big brain a big heart let's go <laughs> let's go and the next one six pack abs I don't have six pack abs and I doubt, I mean, I'm working out and like, well, oh, if you listen to my previous episodes, you'll know some of my fitness issues or what, like not being diagnosed and everything. So for years I was in so much pain. I did not want to move. And I was in so much pain after my surgery. I, I still have phantom pain. Sometimes when I'm about to stand up, I am nervous and I am scared. And it's year. This is years later, but I. That's how much pain I was in. And I. When I say pain, oh my gosh. So, it's like. So I already know I'm not in the type of shape to even handle a man with six pack abs. So why in the world? Like no. It's like I like I'm. I lifted weights today, so it's like, um, over time, like I am, but sitting down, I will, I will repeat sitting down because, and I, it's like, I'm learning more about my fitness journey, but anyways, like I know, like when I look at dating apps, when a guy is listing all of his hobbies and interests and everything is active and on your feet out of a chair, yeah. No, no, no. I was like, I don't want to drag him down. I don't want him thinking that I'm going to make him stop enjoying what he loves. And so while like when I look, I feel like I'm a detective when I go, when I'm on dating apps, because one, I'm looking at like political interests, because even with moderates, a lot of men say they're moderate, but then they end up being Republican or like very much Republican, but they don't want to admit that they're Republican. So I look out for things like that. And oh, I get so many hints through pictures and especially even comments. And oh, uh, Facebook dating, I think it, Facebook dating and Bumble, like there's a couple of the dating apps where it shows even their, <clears throat> their the music that they're listening to and everything like that. Sometimes that gives me really good hints. And so... But when it comes to dating apps and everything like that, I look for, like, even with their activities, it's like, I I mean, I love nature trails, but I got to roll through them. It's like, if there's stairs, I'll see you later. But if it's one where I can ride my scooter or if he's very patient and there are park benches along the path, then hey it's like we can go on a nice long trail maybe like i can have a light book bag or have the light stuff for a picnic he can have the heavier stuff and it's like we can have a picnic in the in the in between and everything or halfway there to me that would be cool and exciting but it would probably have to be starting at the early of the day just to make sure like if i get tired or like yeah so to me i these are things I have to think about with my disability and that's one reason why it's like yeah 
but it's like I've never cared about height. The height doesn't have anything to do with the disability. Six pack abs, nah, mm mm. It's like, I mean, I do have my preference with the type of guys, but, and I mean, I'm a thick girl, so yeah, like I said, I'm not looking for, anyway, you get it. And, but at the same time, if, if you are in great shape, or even if you're not in great shape, I know some men who are in amazing shape. And they like the thickums. They like the thick girls. They like the girls that, you know, got that extra, you know. <laughs> so I'm not saying that you can't. But normally, lifestyle-wise, hobbies-wise and stuff, it may not match as much or whatever. So, But then, six-figure income. Uh, I, I guess a lot of men would assume because I do have a standard when it comes to education, but that's a lot of men automatically assume it's because of income when it doesn't have anything to do with income. I want a man who's goal oriented and want to keep it like pushing and moving. And I do have another standard that has that you must have started investing because why just let your money sit in the bank, not doing anything? Why not like balance or budget your money to even if like I don't even put a minimum if a guy like there's the acorns investing app I love that app I'll talk about it a different time and everything like that but it's like even if you put five dollars a week or whatever or five to twenty it's like it's like if if he can do that every single week throughout the years by the time he retires at least he has a foundation or something to work with and so with a six-figure income a year, yeah, that's great. That's amazing. But also a lot of men who I have, like, I kept having the habit of men who do not have the education that I do. They were normally the ones that put me down or they told me I wasted my money or they told me that I'm selfish because I'm supposed to A woman's job is to care about having kids, raising kids, not being educated. And so for my mental health and my well-being and for me to be able to be happy within a relationship and get fulfilled within a family and relationship, I put the standard of like you must have either a degree, a certification or a trade. One of the three. And this happened November of 2022. That is when I made the list. Because and because Mr. No Heart dropped out of college and Mr. Lockakey, he dropped out of high school. So, yeah. And I think that's one reason why I did start giving up on myself because both of them, they didn't want me to finish. They didn't want me to... Well, Mr. No Heart didn't want, like that I was writing my novel. He didn't like that I finished well, the rough draft of my novel. It will be coming out soon, though. He didn't like that I kept pushing myself and trying to like an invest and start a business. Like He didn't like it at all. And Mr. Lockakey, like at first, like to he love bombed me at first when I first met him. He was going around. Oh my gosh, this girl is brilliant oh my gosh she's starting her second master's isn't she smart isn't she beautiful blah 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 but once I was halfway there oh no he didn't want me to and he would say it out loud whenever he had the toxins and the special candy in his system I mentioned this in the last video it's like if you have or maybe it's in a episode coming up because yeah, I don't I don't post this in the order I talk. Sometimes I'm like, okay, which video? Um, okay, you. So yeah, they're not in order. But I talk about yeah. Once people are on special candy, they say the whole truth. So sometimes you you want to be in the room with them, but then they shouldn't want to be in the room with you. Okay, okay. But here. I mean, this is literally my profile that's up right now. And I don't care. Like, I have two masters. I have three degrees. I have three certifications. And I try to let the guys know, I'll be your friend. But we're not, if 
you don't fit all of these parameters, yet we're not going to be dating compatible because I care more about where do we, do we see eye to eye politically? And maybe not every subject. We, we're going to think differently. We're not going to be like, I mean, I like freedom of speech, freedom of opinion. But then the funny thing is when Republican men find out that I am not Republican, then they tell me I'm brainwashed and I do not care about society and I'm just following along with everyone else and blah, 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 blah. It's, mm, 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 uh, I have screenshots. Oh, not yet. What, look at the dating nightmare episodes. You will see I have all the proof and I have oh, so many more so much more proof as well. But then being vaccinated, excuse me, mm. being vaccinated, it's like, maybe that's a hint. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, but it's just, it falls along with politics and everything because it became political. But at the same time, I want us to see eye to eye with vaccinations because if we get together, if we get married, if we have children, what are we going to do when it's time for vaccinations? What are we going to do with the COVID vaccine? Because I'm not going to argue they're getting vaccinated. So I need someone who sees eye to eye with me. So because if I'm going to have a leader, I need a leader that I believe in, a leader who I trust, a leader who it's like, yeah, we may not agree with, with everything, but that like politics and vaccinations, we need to see eye to eye um, too. So, but anyways, like if you want to read over all everything, but must want to adopt and foster, that's important to me. And most Republican men tell me I only want to adopt so I can get money and use the children and very ignorant, awful, dehumanizing, stupid, naive stuff. It's like, oh, it's disgusting. Because part of me was like, you guys say all lives matter. But when someone is willing and wanting to adopt and foster, then you tell, you act as though, like, oh, mm, but then they're from the, like, a lot of them, because I'm a Christian woman, but a lot of Christians are Republican. But then, I don't know. Uh, mm. contradiction contra contradiction in my eyes so when you look at them side by side I just wonder what would happen if I erased my parameters my standards and things like that and put this list of the 666 and which one should I post because again like I don't, with the six-figure income, it would be nice. But at the same time, if I dated a man who was amazing at what he does and has a passion, like, as you can, well, I'm still at the beginning stages of my business and everything, but I would encourage him. I would be like, you know what? Let's make some streams of income. Oh, let's let's uh, save up some money so you can start or we can start or you can start your own business and things like that. And I will elevate. He doesn't have to be at six figures. It's like I will help if, if he desires and wants to get there. I mean, but I do love someone that's goal oriented too. And I think that's another reason like with my list all together is like I want someone who is goal oriented. They see more in themselves and they want to keep pushing forward. But at the same time, when they look at me, they want the same for me and they don't want to push me down because a lot of men who don't meet these qualifications have only pushed me down. They told either they tell me you're too old for kids. You better not have kids. You better be happy. You don't have kids, stuff like that. Or they tell me, you're a woman. Your job is to have kids. You're selfish for having this education. You're greedy because you want to start a business. Why do you want to start a business for? No one cares about a black woman starting a business. You better quit these goals. You better quit this stuff. So black, white, and other. Yeah, I've got it for um, all types of men. And even a lot of black men who tell me that I better drop out of grad school if I was going to date them. But then when I went and dated a white guy, then they wanted to take yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if i can find i i don't know it's like i don't we didn't have i'm gonna i'm 
proving my age, but we didn't have texting back then. I'll see if they have an email, because I, I know one of them messaged me, but either phone calls or whatever they were telling me, oh, you're just trying to be white, you're just trying to be blah, 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 other stuff. And But then th when I date a guy who likes or accepts it, then they get upset. And I'm like, okay, like, so you want me to eliminate my personality, my goals, my dreams, and things like that, just so I can lower my standards and be with you? No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. And so what are your opinions with this whole 666 six, 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 six number? Eh, I'm saying six a lot now. But okay, 666 six, six number. It's like, do you approve? Are you against? Are you disgusted? Are you applauding it? Are you now considering adding it to your dating profile? And if not, these parameters with six which ones would you want and for the guys what would your list of sixes be for the women um well chest size yeah so good luck with that one because yeah size f yeah there's not a lot of yeah mm. so yeah if you try to do that one yeah no, I mm, never mind. Like it's kind of like when women's like the whole six inches thing, you know, has to be bigger. Mm, yeah, and that's really funny too, because a lot of men on dating apps think if they just text me eight inches or whatever, I'm just gonna be like, oh my gosh, ha yes, hallelujah, I'm so happy. But then when I don't reply, then they start texting that I'm no, I'm a no good B word and. I should pass away and all this other stuff just because like I'm like you think I'm just gonna jump up and down because you're telling me how many inches you supposedly have I don't like I there's more to a man than that and if that's the only thing you have to brag about I'm not impressed I'm not interested and I'm not intrigued no no thank you <laughs> but anyway this is the handy capable black woman throne room I am a woman, I am of color, and I am handy capable. But most importantly, I am human. And I'm not scared of the six number. And it's, I find it intriguing. And, but at the same time, I just want to, like, part of me has retired from dating because of the nightmares. But at the same time, it would just be nice to find a good man. I don't care about the height. It's like short, tall, medium. He's still human. So, and everyone's still human. All of you are human. So, I mean, if you if you have your pet, pets on your lap, you know what I'm talking about. Because, like, yeah, you're furry kids. So, but I'll talk to you later. Bye.